Hello, and welcome to our Foster Facts Live event. We apologize for the delay. We are having some audio issues, but we're so glad you all came to join us. My name is Kyrie Nisha, and we are the community-based care of Central Florida. We manage Orange, Osceola, and Seminole County, and we work with children who have been abused, neglected, or abandoned due to no fault of their own. And our goal is to find loving homes for those children. So right now there is a huge need for foster families. So we really want to do a good job of trying to get the word out there about what our needs are. And one of the questions that we get all the time is, can I foster? I think I'm too old. Uh, yes, you can totally foster. We do not care about your age and we just want people who are gonna love on our children. So today we have Fred and Katrina Williams and they are empty nesters. And we're gonna talk to them about their journey in foster care and get to know them a little bit better. So if you have any questions along the way, please feel free to put it down below and we'll make sure to ask them. All right, let's get started. Hello, how are you all doing? Doing good, thank good, you. Good, good. So you started this journey, you were empty nesters, and you said, you know what, we're gonna start fostering. How did that happen? It happened um, with our grands. Mm -hmm. um, they was going through some um, changes um, with their mother, and we got a knock at the door. Um, um, from Department of Children and Families, and they um, brought the kids over. And we took our grands in, which of course you know you're gonna be your grand, you're gonna take them in. And then they asked us, um, did we wanna take on the sibling, which is the sister? And at the time, me and my husband, we was um, deciding, you know what, it'd be a good thing to take her with which is our two grands, the sister, and so they can be able to go through those challenges, what they're going through together. And so that would, that would kind of inspired us to want to know, and we was asking ourselves, like, how many other kids are going through this? Like our grands and, um, and like the, the sibling that we took in, how many? And that what made us, um, inspired us to want to get into foster, to open up our home to let the kids in. Nice. So, for those of you that don't know, yesterday was Grandparents' Day. So, happy Grandparents' Day, guys. Thank you. Thank you. So, when you started this process, were there any emotions or thoughts you had? I mean, you have an empty house and now you have kids again. Yes, there's always uh, some emotions, some thoughts and things that go through your mind because you wonder, how is this possible that yeah. here we are you know, being empty nesters and we could we could do this again. Could travel all, all, yeah, <laughs> all, all the doubts come to your mind yeah. of, of whether or not you can do it again after you raise your kids. But after you think about it and you really set your heart in place on it, you can do it once you have a well made up mind to. Absolutely. So you all are parenting again. I'm sure there's some generational things that change from when you were parenting to now. How have you all adapted to those changes? Oh, it's a lot of changes, um, especially when um, going out to play, just simply going out to play. Mm -hmm. You you know, the kids, in, when our kids was growing up, we didn't have to worry about um, going out to play and have to be there to supervise, to watch, to look, and or anything like that because society was not as bad as it is now. Yeah. And now we, we starting this, you know, change in everything that's going on now, you have to really supervise kids 24-7 now. Mm -hmm. Talking about those changes, so we have social media now, you have different viral dances. How do you all keep up with the things that are changing, forever changing? Oh, wow, you just said a whole... <laughs> yeah, I know, it's you, a lot. You stepped in a realm of a whole different <laughs> right. of, of, of life. To, uh, as you know, we're in the 21st century mm -hmm. technology, and technology is mainstream, it's basically a part of all of our lives mm -hmm. to some degree or another. So with those changes, you have to adapt as parents too in order to keep up with your teens, keep up with your young ones, see what they're doing, who they connect with socially on social media. Mm -hmm. So uh, even as empty nesters, you have to more or less educate yourself a little bit more to order to keep up with the sign of the time. Absolutely. You got to ask questions, right? Like, what are yeah, you doing over there, right? <laughs> educate yourself. Hey, absolutely. So your home went from being quiet and calm to now you have these kids there. How have you all dealt with that? How's that been? Oh, yes. It's, uh, it's been an adjustment, uh, one that we've been able to make. Uh, being the fact that we was once, you know, empty nesters, but now we have kids. Uh, we thought we was going to have some peace. We thought we was going to travel the world. Yeah. We thought we were going to do other things, but have our hearts said otherwise. Yeah. And through it all, we, we 
talked about it and we knew that uh, this was for us and that we wanted to be a part of this, uh, of making a difference in kids' lives. And so we made that leap of faith and choices to uh, go forward with it as anyone can. Right. So do you all still do date nights? Or do you ever have any time for yourselves? What does that look like for you? Oh, yes. We, we still have date nights. Mm -hmm. They have so much resources out there. Um, the Foster Parents Association, they have um, a core group of foster parents that are licensed mm -hmm. and everything that give you respite care. Mm -hmm. Respite care is when the kids will go to the other foster parents' home, stay the weekend, stay the week, or whatever, to, so you can be able to get a break. Mm -hmm. And so we learned to adjust to that. So we, we, we said, okay, you know what? Two weeks to be as a family, and you know, we just, we'll reverse the weeks as we'll have our quiet time together as well. Nice, nice, nice. So, as you all have went through this journey, if you have anyone who's maybe an older person, they're saying, you know what, I hear what they're saying, it sounds great, but I'm not quite sure if this is something I would want to do. What would you say to encourage them? Well, I would say well, that, uh, look at me and my wife, Katrina, we're living proof that it's achievable, it's something that can be done, because he we was up in Nestor's, but now we have two boys, mm -hmm. and uh, we are uh, parents of three grown sons, and and grandparents are seven, so whether you're an older parent or a grandparent, for instance, it can be done. It is achievable. Nice. Is there anything that you would tell people that you may not have known when you started this process, but you learned along the way? Like, I would, if I knew that back then, it would have helped me along the way. Is there anything? Well, um, yes, there's some things that you could tell them uh, along the way. You, you learn through the process. You learn more that uh, there are certain things that that you have to adapt to, that certain changes have to be made. And, and through it all, even being the fact that we are foster parents and adoptive parents, you learn so much. You learn from the kids as well as the kids learn from you. And it, it, it puts you in perspective that there's more to life that there is than, than you would think that you didn't know about yeah. in the past and that you can make a difference and a value. To say that even as a older parent or grandparent that you can contribute to, the, to uh, what's needed for the kids. Awesome. Katrina, you want to ask that? Oh, yes. Um, I would say that it's, it's doable. You just have to um, kind of block out the motions part mm -hmm. of it because you might, sometimes you may ask yourself, um, am I too old or how will things will come about? Mm -hmm. How would the kids get to school? What school would they go to? Who would pick them up? There are so many resources. So you got to get over the motion part of it and just give it a try. Just get out there and do it, right? Do it. Just do it. And once you get into it, it's so rewarding. Thank you all so much. You all have been so helpful. I hope those of you out there that are interested and you're still questioning, this is for you. You can do it. You got it. If you want more information, please feel free to give us a call at one 866 child we don't care if you're married, single, wid widow, excuse me, or live in a big home or a small house, we need you. You can also check out our website at www.protectandinspire.org. And until next time, I'm Karanisha, and have a great day. Thank you.